Oh, yikes. Hi, everyone. So, I am going to be doing a book review today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, and I think my thing is down below. If it's not, it's the same as my YouTube username, Gaining Kaylin. Um, it is private, though, so I will have to accept your request. Um, just let me know who you are or whatever. Anyway, so I am doing a review on this book by Vicki Courtney, Your Boy Raising a Godly Son in Ungodly World. And I love this book. And I'll tell you why. I, as a single mom of boys, oh boys, there are things that I wish that their father had been. And my goal is for them to not become like him. So reading this book kind of gave me an idea of things to instill in them. Um, some of the things that I didn't even think of. Um, and then it's from another mom. Like you get the heart to heart of how fast it goes and how bittersweet it is and how you want to take the time to be with your kids um, and have the fun and in let them be kids but there's things that we need to do as parents to prepare them to be adults and good adults for society for that matter so um i originally had picked this up from a preschool sale a church preschool sale and i wasn't sure about it i am not too big of a parenting book kind of person but i loved that the way that this was written um and I do want to mention that she does have one for girls. The author of this book, Vicki Courtney, has two boys and one girl. So she does have um, this book in a girl version for those of you that have girls. Um, and it's on Amazon for I think like 12 bucks. Um, but yes, I got it for $5 at a garage sale. Um, now, one of the things is, yes, it's a Christian parenting book. I am religious. I used to go to church and all of that stuff. But there are some things in here that I do not agree with. And of course, there's going to be things that you don't agree with in parenting books. Um, but the things that I do agree with and that I picked out are just timeless. Um, so teaching your boys to do the right thing, even if it's not what everyone else is doing. And teaching them to respect women and to be a provider and to embrace responsibility. All of those things that are important when you have boys and girls. I haven't read the girl version, so I don't really know what is in it. One of the things that I do like, too, is teaching your sons what kind of woman to look for. To appreciate the girls that aren't displaying their bodies in a sexual nature in order to get attention. To appreciate the girls that are confident in their own bodies, even if it isn't what all the popular girls are doing. And um, just instilling in them not to let outer appearance be what dictates what they choose in a wife. There are too many more qualities in people than what they look like. So, I'm really enjoying having this book. Um, of course, I'm going to read it again later down the line because I don't need to instill in my three-year-old what he should be looking for in a wife. So having this on hand, it is an older version because they do mention um, MySpace as being the popular website. So regardless on how old the book is or the topics within the book, whew, okay, just got up. Um, how old the topics or concepts in here are the core teachings are right on track, right on point. So if you've read this book, let me know. Put it down below. Um, and if you've read the girl version, let me know down below. I don't have any girls, but I am tempted to read it just because. So um, pick yourself up a copy. It's a good read. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.